Rampage. Yo. Yo, what up, family? How you doing? What's what's the word, man, my dude? Man, I'm chilling, I'm chilling, man. Thanks for calling me. Nah, it's all good. You already know. We gotta Definitely. keep it definitely moving. Real talk. You know what I mean? Yep. Facts. Now, Rampage, you got extensive history with rap. Now, how did you get your start? You know, for those that don't know how I got my start, I got my start in, um, in 92, rocking in the game with my first cousin, which is Buster Rhymes. And, um, I've been on ever since. Definitely. Now, you got a lot of hits. You know what I mean? Now, talk to the people as far as dropping albums and, you know, your studio process and the regiment that you follow. Well, my studio process is I don't write nothing down. Everything is off top of the head. Right? So Real my cool. process, you know, I get it. I get it from Biggie and Jay. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know, I come from the era of Biggie. You know what I'm saying? Being in, being in cat session and understanding how serious it is when it comes to the game and being at the right place at the right time and just learning them type of them type of skills, you know what I'm saying? Whereas, you know, I haven't wrote a rhyme in a very long time. Like, I physically yeah, wrote something right down. That's real right That's when you know real. yourself. That's when you master when you know yourself. Right. You know what I mean? So, right. you know, my process is different, man. I hear everything that nobody else hears. You know, you can put a beat on and everybody in there bars and out on paper, but I don't need no paper. It just just let me know where I need to go. You know what I mean? I'll hear the record a couple of times and then verses is is, is popping. The bars is right. popping. That's my process. Right. Oh, that's what's up. Now doing stuff with Buster, Flip Mo Squad, legendary group, shout out to Buster. You laid down the groundwork. Now, back in the days, it was different opposed to now, as far as the independent game and getting signed. So, in these present times right now, how do you feel about the rap game in general opposed to when you first came out and to this present day? No, I, I think it's, it's just it's just a sport, my dude. It's like, okay. you know, you, it, it's, 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 it's just weird, you know what I mean? And, you know, we live in these <laughs> weird times. We live in... We're living in drastic times right now. Facts. From from being in the if you you wasn't rocking in ninety two and ninety one and in, in the early nineties, consider it relevant right now. You know what I'm saying? So right. those are you know, if you wasn't coming from that part of hip hop, you was not remembered. You know what I'm saying? So if you didn't have a hit record at them times, along them times you were not considered classic or a legend right now. You know what I'm saying? So the difference in that era is you had more legends in that era than this era. This new era, you're not gonna rem you only there's only a handful of people you're gonna remember from this era that's legend. I agree. So you know what I mean? And with all this, you know, you know, I'm not dissing it, but you know, with all this mumble rap, you know what I'm saying? And everything is the same, how many can you remember? When they all doing the same thing. Yeah, you can't even remember really too much. And what's funny, I'm from the, I'm I'm from the era where you had golden era. You couldn't, you 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 had anticipated singles. A lot of these people in this day and time don't got no anticipated singles, and they bought right. the trash. I feel you on that. We call it so, kiwi juice over here. You know what I'm saying? You no, know, I call it I call it the internet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, and I'm the one that came up with, you know, um, the no mumble rap. You know what I'm saying? So right. I'm the one for that word. You know what I'm mm. saying? When Cass is using it, know where y'all got it from. It came from my vocabulary. So That's real right you know, I got to put that on the front line. Right. Now, I'm going to touch on what you was just talking on. Like, now, I feel like music is microwavable, you know what I'm saying? It's just instant, you know, instead of having a process to it. Now, you've been on major tours, 
and, you know, earning your keep, especially when it came to bars. Now, with the Internet, I know the Internet, you know, started at that time, but where is that today? Do you think the Internet is a hindrance because of the abundance of music? Or do you think nah, it's taken away from I, I, the I think, I think, I think um, the Internet is kind of like speed and processor. You know what I'm saying? So right. I like that. I like that the process is speeded up. I like that. I can go from the studio right now and post something on the gram to get everybody intrigued on what I'm about to drop. I like giving people snippets. I like giving, right. you know, it's it's fun for me. It's about it's about who's really following you, who's really, you know, it's it's, it's it, people ain't got really no loyalty on Facebook and all these social media. You know That's what I'm saying? Really but. If, if if you're making good quality music and people is loving it, come on, man, the sky's the limit. You know, you can you can create a a tour on space uh, on 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 Instagram, on Instagram alone. You know what I'm saying? You can create a tour without being on a major label. You can create you can create numerous revenue by just being yeah, creative. different revenue streams. I agree with you. Back then, you had was to hard. wait on somebody. You had to wait on somebody that either was a fan, and we didn't have no internet. Real talk. To, to, to give you an endorsement deal to promote your music, or give you a platform to promote your music. You know what I'm saying? So, right. it's a hell of a lot better now. It's exactly. Just, I don't like the only thing I don't like is the streaming part. I just right. think that's bogus. Now, Everything that's else, crazy that too. Right. Now, since you brought up the streaming part, and you know how, like, CDs, you know, they say, like, well, I don't know exactly what they're, well, we'll just throw something out there, a number. Like, you know how they say 82 cent for a CD, and then the streams, and then, you know, you go into these distributors, and they taking, like, a cut of that. You get what I'm saying? Right. So, I understand exactly what you're saying, because, I mean, look. Especially when it comes to distribution, it's kind of crazy. You know, they got all these 360 deals, and then now they want, you know, a part of your bread doing shows and stuff like that, opposed to when you had a record deal, you know, they will facilitate facilitate all that stuff, you know? Well, yeah. sometimes they would. If you had a okay. good manager, well, I, I come from a background where I had a good manager. I had good right. management, which is Bailey, the Mona Scott, and Chris Light, uh, Rob Pete. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, rest in so, peace. You know what I mean? You know, I come from an era where you had to have the best management, like a rush artist management. People that right. were just making moves, but definitely, you know, there was a lot of good book agents at that time. Right now, we ain't got no, we ain't got that many king agents. A lot of people just be on that bullshit, my G. Yeah. You know what I'm just saying? Just trying to get shit. a bag off of somebody. Shit, shit, shit. Yeah, it's not even about being a bag, it's just motherfuckers just need to be more professional. You know I what I'm saying? Back then, I think a lot of promoters were more professional and they was booking more. Now, a lot of people from Myra can't even get a show. And that's crazy. Yeah. That's why well, we, we ain't doing overseas. that on Shut Them Down Radio. We got to go overseas where it's more live at, where they, they respect the culture. Right. We don't even, some of us don't even respect the culture. We, you know, some of us, you know, you know, just it's trying to go with the times and run with the with the with, with the Jordans and the Joneses. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, my niggas, like you got to draw a line or something. Yeah, and you draw know, a line in the sand because some stuff you is know what I mean. It, it, it's either either you gonna sell out or what are you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's like the answer to right. me is I'm gonna always do me. I'm never, I'm always, I, I'm always getting better. So, that's what I'm talking once about. the MC, always an MC. You know what I'm right. saying? Regardless, if you see me, I have mad things that I can roll out on. I'm still, I'm still an MC first. Out of everything mm, that I, I respect have. That. I'm, I respect I'm still that. an MC first, and I don't, I don't let, I'm a mutant, my dude. It's a good word, right. I'm a mutant. So, I don't care if the industry changed 20 days or 20, every 20 days, I'm changing with it, but I'm not going to change me. 
you know, I, I change the flow. I can get with any flow. I can rhyme to anything. I'm a dope MC. I'm a real MC. Right. I'm a 100 MC. It ain't no, you know, you never heard no whack bars. You know what I'm saying? So Hell no. You know what I mean? So, I don't Now, you know, let me ask you a question. That much. Right. Yeah. Now, I know you battle tested, you know, as far as the music and stuff like that. Now, well, a lot of these artists out here, you know, they ain't battle tested, meaning putting out albums, projects, stuff of that nature. And we were talking about singles, you know? Right. Do you think most of these artists can even make an album or want longevity nope. in a game like such as yourself? I think some don't got longevity because they didn't come from that type of era. Their longevity is if the beat sounds good now, maybe I can do some, you know, maybe I could do something to gimmick it. And, and, and this new era, all they do is gimmick. Yep. From, from where we come from, we ain't have, we ain't have no gimmick. It was an image. It was, it was, mm. it, it's a, it, it's a different way. It's a different way from a scenario to, uh, little Nas X. Oh, you will never scenario. <laughs> After a couple yeah. of years from now, you still going to bang scenario. Yes, sir. Little Nas well, X. So you going to really bang Little Nas X? Nope. 20 years from Not now? Me. Is Hell that no. going to be remembered? No. It's like a parody or something like that. That's the death. That's the difference between errors. No diss to Little Nas X. I'm just saying. Right. That. You know what I'm saying? I'm just showing you are you going to really remember that? Nope. You know what I'm saying? Are you going to re really remember Nim Mem's single? Or are you going to remember um, Big Papa? Facts. We're going to remember Papa. Big Papa. You know what I'm saying? The Biggie, too. So. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. So you're going to remember Flavor in Your Air? Or you going to remember... Let me give it another record. Are you gonna remember uh uh are you gonna remember uh Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang? <laughs> if not Yeah, you know, I agree there, with you. There. Yeah, I agree I'm with you, my the difference in era. I'm not dissing it, I'm just showing you the difference. What are yeah, you it's a major difference. Twenty years now, you gonna remember why for the night? Or you Hell yeah! Remember, are you gonna remember the motherfuckers who sampled it from me because they know where it came from? Mm. Yeah, that's facts. See the difference? See all I'm doing is keeping me alive. Yes, sir. Now rampage. And that's all I'm doing is paying homage. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I get that. But right. are you gonna that's really respect. remember my version? Or you gonna remember that version? Your version, the originator. Exactly. Because That's how again, it should be. The difference, the difference between my version and everybody else's version who use it. When you right. listen to my version, it has a certain grittiness, but it got a certain energy. When you listen to their version, them just have no grittiness or no energy. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? Those are the difference of those records. That's right. why sometimes... Yeah, you know I'm listening, I mean? my that's why, you know, that's the difference yeah. between the others. You right. know what I mean? Now, yeah. like, with the with the artists of this present day, like, you just elaborated on, you know, uh, paying homage. Now, most rappers nowadays you know, they need to learn their history, you know, of the, the forefathers and stuff like that. You know, so when they talk about, oh, you washed up, you old, and stuff like that, but how would you say that mm -hmm. when somebody made a way for you and paved the way for you to be in the rap game, they inspired you? Yeah, you know, you know some people could say that. Crazy. Some people some people could say that, but I don't pay attention to stuff like that, my dude. Yeah, me either. At the end of the day, you're going to remember me, and you're not going to remember them. Yep. At the end of the day, tell me, when the last yeah, time I'm you listening. heard a classic light, when the last time you heard a classic light, flavor in your ear, and I'm going to sit here and wait. 
been a real, I ain't hear one in a long time as far as an anthem. Because remember, y'all was going for All anthem. Right, cool. All right. You said an anthem. In right. our era, it was nothing but anthems. I can name yes, a hundred of them shit. Yep. In this era, it's true. give me one anthem that was dope. And I'm going to wait. I don't tell. What's that telling you if you haven't heard no record like that in years? That it ain't no creativity. Like a lot of people don't have love for the exactly. game. You, you know I know. You know I know my history, my G. So, you already and I'm, know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. This in the new era because my kids listen to it, just like how right. our parents was listening to Marvin Gaye and all of them. The era is different, and I'm not being bitter or nothing. I'm just telling you that we lack skill. This era yep. lacks certain. Type of dumbing down bars. How music. about that one? And it's not even about dumbing down bars because some of these records got good energies on them. It's just right. everybody is doing the same way, and they be yep. doing that for the last for the last ten years, same way. Right. And it's getting even younger. It's like skipping the bobby, dooby 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 to the dooby. I'm a cinema. <laughs> dum 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 to the floor. Well, I, I don't even understand dum. half of it. And I ain't even hate you, but I like. Never, 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 never. Yeah. Woo. Everybody. Yeah, no cadence. No, never, no never, different never, flows. Never, never. I, I, and I'm telling you how they flow. Yeah, some of them flows feel good on certain records. But right. But for my era, when you made records like, I mean, you're the blast. Body kicking flag. You mm. were singing along with it. You understood yes. it. You wanna you know what I'm saying? Ball for like, ball. Oh, that's my favorite part in the whole song. When you listen right. to this, skip it dip a dive to the dude. Woo! I'ma have to do it to the dude. Woo! Dip it dip a dive. Dip it, dip it, dip it, dip it. <laughs> right. That's yeah, it's that's crazy. It. So so when I listen to it, it tells me one thing. It's either What's that I'm my dick? <laughs> Right. Either I'm dumb or the dude who made that record is stupid. Dumb. Hell yeah. And then yeah. think about you know it. What I'm you had so, to have ball you, so, you had to have hooks too. But, like some all hooks. But 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 listen, but listen. Then you go to the yeah. fucking new shows and you play that skip it dippy bobby dee dee boo. Whoa. Everybody's doing this. Skip it dee bobby dee dee boo. Whoa. <laughs> I'm gonna have a duck to the dude. Whoa, whoa. Nigga, 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 and they singing it word for word by word, word. and the youngins is like, this is hot, this is the number one smash in the street. Yeah, all that's the DJs, crazy. All the DJs have to submit to it, even though they don't want right. to, they got to, they have they to. might get fired if they don't play that format. So we live now, in Ram times where, yeah, right. Yeah, Rampage. Now, that's funny that you brought that up because I feel like when you have a forum, especially a radio show, it should be for the artists. You understand? Like, a lot of these DJs, how I feel, this is my opinion. They they don't do that. It's all about them and they spotlight. And it takes away a lot from the hip-hop game, entrepreneurship, anything. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So there's a, there's a lot of people out here picking songs, oh, this ain't hot, this ain't hot. You know, this and that. They should have a melting pot of old and new music. Well, I don't say old. I say what you call, like, renaissance music. You know, timeless music. You know, it's a difference. You get what I'm saying? Right. And they don't want to do that anymore. And I know you DJ. You know what I'm saying? I definitely so, I, def so I, I got right. something called Mitch Hill Madness. The Tight. fuck I want to play. But I play That's shit right. niggas are scared to play. So if you listen yep. to my show, Mix Show Madness, I'm syndicated on 41 stations across the, blo the globe. Tell them again. And I'm on mm. every digital platform. That's Rampage, the Mix Show Madness. I play classic. I play dance hall. I play classic hip-hop. I play shit motherfuckers are scared to play. I play exclusive shit motherfuckers are scared to play. I play what the fuck I want. But That's right. I'm I'm for the culture. It ain't about me. The reason what makes me different as a as a as a MC slash DJ 
is right. I play exclusives. I break artists right. on my show. I break new. If I feel it, I play it. If I don't feel it, I don't play it. It's straight like yeah, that. Yeah, that's real. That's real. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the you know, if you on the Mix Show Madness and anybody checking out my Mix Show Madness, you see I play like, I play what I feel. I don't, it ain't, nobody can't call me and say, yo, play this. Right. Um, I'll delete you. I respect that. that. I'm the same way. I'm about breaking artists and having real interviews, and it's all about the culture. Now, Rampage. So, Mm-hmm. Now listen, making them classic songs like "Baby, I Want to Give It to You" and all of them songs that last forever. Like, how was that studio session? When you're around, a, I tell you this, man. When you're around a whole bunch of classical niggas, you can't right. help but to be classical. You know what I'm saying? When you're around Real a whole bunch of millionaires, you can't help to become a millionaire. When you're around people That's real. getting money, then y'all all getting money. So that question is, how does it feel to be around people that just make greatness music? It felt great. You seen, you seen the fruits of the labor of the song. Right. It's gonna be around yeah, that was, forever. That, that song was exactly. tight. You know what I'm saying? So Definitely. being amongst classical people and people that's on the same wave, we don't. This, that, this new era don't have that. I agree. You know what I'm saying? I so, definitely agree. You and know, then, what? Yeah, Ramp, then think about it. Back in the days, you know what I'm saying? You had fun. Like, to me, hip-hop isn't fun anymore. You get what I'm saying? Even though you had different genres in hip-hop, because I can name a lot of names, but all of y'all stayed in the lane and always had camaraderie for each other. You get what I'm saying? I know it was little internal beefs or whatever, but we ain't even going there because that's just hip hop. But I wasn't even that because soon as we all got backstage and we was performing right. and everybody had hot records, all that shit was out the window. Real talk. And the money so, was circulating. Now, since you, know, you said that, it seemed like the dollars ain't circulating like that far as with the rap music. And stuff of that nature. I mean, the dollars are circulating, but within artists, you know, when there's a lot of craziness well, going on. There's a couple of few people that's still eating off this. You know, right. I'm, I'm I'm fortunately a one of them. I'm really yes, eating. Sir. You know what I'm saying? I've been eating. I've been eating since 92. But the difference between me and other people is I got investments. I got, I made investments. Mm. I made Tell moves. I, 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 I made investments. I made money. I saved my money. I put my money down. And this is why I'm here today to tell you that I'm good on it. You know what I'm saying? It's been OG good to me. The game ain't never turned the back on me. If you turn the back on the game, then you broke. Then you in the ditch. You in the hole. You ain't coming out that hole. You done. You had a hit. And you didn't do good with your needle. money. You didn't do good with your bread. Right. Now you looking good into it out here on these streets, my dude. My kids is eating <laughs> off this, eating Real off talk. the nineties right now. You know what I'm saying? So, right. And I think to my own is just it's just, it just I see things differently, man. I you know right when when cats was buying Dookie ropes, I was buying barber shops. You know what I'm That's saying? That's what I'm talking about. When when, when cats was getting to the Phantoms, I was buying two buildings. When mm. cats was, you know, when cats was buying bricks, I was buying more property. You know right. what I'm saying? So, that's the way I was, I always been on from day one. Real so, talk. And it shows, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Longevity in the game. Exactly. It definitely so, shows. And you, you know, respect I'm, that I'm, on I'm, Shut I'm, Them Down Radio. I'm a, do I'm a dope MC, so if I'm a dope MC, that means I can create anything that I can think about. Right. Anything that I can think about, I got a resource to do it. People don't understand. Relationships is worth more than money. But when you have a relationship, right on that. I agree. It, create, it, it, it creates money. And if my, if my politics wasn't good and if I fell off, I wouldn't be on your radio station right now. Facts. See how that works? Yes, sir. Means I'm That's circling. the truth. Means I'm mingling, mingling amongst 
those that's making it happen because I'm on this radio station right now. So being heard. So, you know, sometimes cats got to stop being bitter, put their money to good use, and think about long term. A lot of these new dudes I agree with getting you this fully. money, a, a lot of these new dudes who are getting this money, you know, within two years, they're broke. Yeah, they finished. They just, they just spinning and spinning and spinning off these juries, and then a right. lot of these juries are still into them. Yep, and it's fake. So, you know, yeah, that's, what I mean right that's what I'm right here. That's what I mean to get into that. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. no, to each his own, my dude. I'm not, I'm not here to judge or nothing. All I'm just saying is, I'm one of them dudes that absorb from the era. I don't have to be the right. biggest dude in the game. Still know to me. I got easy. something in stone. I'm in stone in hip hop. Like you can't take it from me. Either yep. you didn't even have to like my part. It didn't matter. You knew the words and you were singing them at one time. Yes, sir. Some definitely you got some classics. It. Yeah, so you got to look at the game from all different angles. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So I can't. I, I'm not a contradictor. You know, I don't know what 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 chats are going through, but I figured I figured out my system. What I needed to do. Right. Now That's why I'm on your station. Real talk, and we appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? But definitely paving the way for the future artists. Now, when it comes to collabos, right, like nowadays, you know, who would you want to collab with? Nobody right now. Damn. I'm Yo, in the studio. Man, Ray, what's going on? <coughs> no, nah, it ain't it ain't nothing personal. I just nobody I really want to rhyme with. Oh, that's real. Because, I, you know, I'm a real MC. I don't have to rhyme with everybody. When you keep feeding people, when you keep feeding people features, and right. then when you don't got the right feature, then you out here looking crazy. Real Build talk. yourself up and as an MC before you go for a feature. Stop thinking right. that you need certain, certain people to be on your record. And yeah, then when you get him to solidify you, it takes the shine. It takes the shine for you, right? But that's how it is now. Because think about it. Even like back in the days, right? Y'all would put out straight albums, no features, no anything. But now everything is so saturated with so many features on one album. You know what I'm saying? How you got 15 tracks and it's like 10 features? Yeah. So again, that's crazy. You know. That's the difference between my era and this era. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, again, you know, you got to take the good in with the bad, bro. Right. But now, me, the DJ circle. Yeah, I'm listening. Man. I don't want to do no records with none of these dudes. And it ain't personal. No, that's what. Yeah, I, I feel I, you. I don't feel a lot of it. I'm just being an artist. I don't. Right now, I'm in the zone trying to finish when hell freezes over. That's okay. the name of my new project. My new album. Nice. When is it dropping? Part family? one and part two. So. All right. We definitely want to check I, I, a debut you know, on I got the a show. Lot to say. I got a lot to get off my chest. I got, you know, I got some things. I got some things mm-hmm. that I'm working on. So, you know, right. I'm working on When Hell Freezes Over. You know, my new, um, my new, um, my new strain, the Blue Magic. I knew the um, cannabis strain. Oh, let's get magic. into that whole story. Yeah. Let's get into that. And I got that. cannabis strain coming. CBD nice. and I got THC. So, you know, always, all the way around it. You know, my new brand, the Blue Magic. You know what I'm saying? I right. guarantee it. Um, I got mm. vapes. I got a lot of things coming. Um, About to close out this um, new vodka deal. About to... um. Oh. Finish, finish working on this cartoon. I do voiceover work for the car, a cartoon. I got coming. Okay. Um, I do management. You know what I'm saying? I manage. Right. Got a nice little management. Got a couple people under the management. Um, I do sports management. I'm a, I'm a music executive. I sign different people to different labels. I'm also CEO oh, of the Heat so. DJs. I'm also CEO of the Heat DJs. Um, 
I'm over there at um, Digital Radio Tracker, GRT. Right. Um, you know. As the list but that's on, real I what got, you're I, talking I, I about, branding so yourself. Now, yeah, Rampage. So, you know, I'm yeah. behind some things that a lot of people don't know that I'm behind, so that's fine. At the end of right. the day, at the end of the day, it's about how you move out here in these, out in these, in these streets, man. It's it's about how you product your business. You know what I'm saying? If you got good business, then people gonna deal with you. If you got sucker business, then they gonna deal with you. You deal with what I'm saying? Fact. Yeah, and these relationships yeah. be over the years. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. Like years ago, it used to be real relationships, business relationships, and then they evolve into whatever. And speaking about branding. I see you did a lot of branding and, you know, everything you're doing. So that's what's up. Yeah. And entrepreneurship. Yeah. I'm, um, I'm mentoring. I teach. I teach school. Big up to the school of hip hop. Oh, my God, Will. I teach um junior high school how to DJ. Nice. Teach kids how to DJ. I'm also starting an online university called MBU where I'm teaching cats how to get in the music business. 25 years of my experience for casting from junior high to college to join my um my curriculum that I'm right. putting out. You know, that you can literally take my step-by-step online classes and, um, you know, I help you, you know, help yeah, that's the tight young right people here. to get in the music industry. You know what I'm saying? So, how to really right. take my cost seriously. I'm one of them dudes, man. I, I believe in giving back to the culture. I'm a messenger from the that. culture. If I don't give out a I don't give out a message, then I won't be blessed. Real talk. You bless yeah. others and you will be blessed. That's true. Now Real with talk. the DJing, Real right? Talk. Yeah, now yep. you see how it changed, right? Remember the twelve hundreds, now it's Serato. How you feel about DJs using Serato opposed to using real turntables? Well, I like not having to lug around all those records. I like it. <laughs> real talk. But also, but also got a a crazy record collection too. So, and I know you digging them crates. You no, know, I'm I'm really in them crates though. You know what I'm saying? It's it's not a record that I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Mm. From our era. It's not a record that I I can't find. Like, being a DJ right. keeps me on really on my rap shit because, you know, when I motivate your DJ, it makes me want to rhyme even more. So, you know, being a DJ, you know, I get to play what I feel. I get to put my, my playlist together. I get to I get to play exclusive music. That's what I love a lot. I like to play Music that people don't, yeah, they heard don't, it, but they didn't hear they, how I played it. Right, and then it's I, different. I get calls like, yo, where you get that from? Let me get that. All right, cool. Right. Means you're right. paying attention. You know what I'm saying? So right. I, I do things in this week, but I put it out there on Front Street. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, now, you know, I love you, it. remember back in the days with dub plates and, you know, stuff like that? You know, it was kind of crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, somebody was going to drop that exclusive, you know, that night. Or getting, um, you know, DJs to, uh, you know, give you a shout-out and stuff like that. A lot of that is lacking nowadays. You get what I'm saying? Like, anticipation. Right. Building the momentum. Everything is just there. You get what I'm saying? It's like, everything is just singles nowadays. Opposed to an album. Or putting out a million yeah, mixtapes. Right, right, right. This new label that I'm building called the Heat Music okay. Group, I'm only putting out singles. Fuck the album. Because, again, mm. okay. I'm putting out an album and shit sometimes. <clears throat> look at today's. Right. Look how many people putting out albums and nobody really getting them. Means it's the wrong time. Right on it's the wrong ever for it. Right. That's why I'm taking, the time with, taking my time with my album. It got to be anticipated. Exactly. I come from the era where your shit has to be anticipated. If your shit is not anticipated, motherfuckers ain't gonna go fuck with it. Exactly. Niggas ain't gonna support it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, and then 
then on top of that, you know, you got a lot of artists out here that's just throwing out 20 mixtapes, no promotion. And remember, y'all promote it, and then it will go word by word of mouth. You get what I'm saying? Like, oh, that's hot. Yep. You know? So it's a difference. Like, right. that was actually your own PR back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Yep. By what you put out. And that's real. So y'all take notes out there. Y'all listening. I see the callers. So y'all listening, man. Dropping some jewels right now. Definitely. Right. Now, what was your wildest studio session? You know what I mean? With flip mode. You know, like the most memorable studio session you ever had. I don't know. It, 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 it's millions of those, bro. All right. You know, uh, slavery in your ear, being in the same room with everybody. Right, and definitely flavor uh, here was hard. Remix, everybody on the same record, shooting a video with everybody at the same time, getting to know your brothers even more. I was also, you know, I was real good friends with Big. And that's that. That's oh wow. That's no fun. Talk like, on that, homie. Big big homie was really one of my one of my good friends. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, man, he rest in peace, man. He was a good dude, man. He was just trying Real to get talk. to the suitcase. Rest in peace, the biggie. We don't get to the bags. We don't get to the bags no more. Anybody say they get into the bags, they lying. We get to the suitcase. And mm, and, and um, you you know, Big was just one of the dudes, man. Like. He was very motivating. He was very positive. And all he wanted to do was smoke weed and make good music and take care of his family and put his people on. So Yo, that's real. You know, that's the type of dude he was. Right. You know, so anybody never knew Big. Uh, I really knew Big. You know what I'm saying? Right. And he definitely put out some classics. You know, Thomas yeah. music, legendary music. All of y'all did. Yeah. You know? Buster, so, yeah. Spliff Star, everybody, Rod Digger, you know? Now, I've seen yeah, y'all had a reunion recently. Can you talk to the people about that as far as flip mode and spitting bars yeah, and stuff we got like a, that? We got a new album coming. Word? Right. So, yeah, it's done. All people all right, that's so, listening to it, the new Flipmo album is done. It's going to come soon. I can't give you no dates, but it's going to okay. come when it's expected to come. Some things right. like that you just don't watch. Remember, I was telling you earlier, you know, people want it too bad, but then when they get it, they're not going to be able to appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? You you want you want that to right. have momentum. You want that to have anticipation. Right. We just put it out right now, then it, it's not anticipated. Me saying it but, builds up the anticipation. But that, so, that energy, yeah, bro, back in the days, like, I'm older, you know what I'm saying? So I grew up on your music, you get what I'm saying? And, you know, the visuals, the energy, the cadence, the bars, legendary. <coughs> oh, and I appreciate you, you for yeah. calling up, my Jake. You ain't, you ain't hear shit yet. This new Flip Mode album is serious, man. Shit. And y'all known for the bars. Parts. No, shit gonna get technical around these parts. Right. It's time to clean house. You get what I'm saying? Everybody stay cool. May the saga continue. Yes, sir. Trust me. Real Trust talk. me when y'all hear this new Flip Mode album, man. Shit, shit gonna get technical around these parts. Definitely feeling that, you know? And whenever whenever you want to debut it on the show, you could come through. More than welcome, fam. Definitely. Real talk. Opportunity, man. And, um, <clears throat> one thing no I problem, like say, my G. Um, before I get yeah. off, um, salute to my publicist in the game, MJ. Salute yeah. to Money Green Marche, my manager. Salute to my president of the Heat DJs, DJ Will Money. And salute to everybody that's on this show, listening to this show. And a Real salute talk. to you, King. Salute to you, King, right. for having your bro on this, on, on, on your platform. And I salute to everybody that loves real hip-hop. My name is Rampage, 
the first lieutenant of the Universal Flip Mode Squad. Yeah. And that will never stop. That will never stop. So anybody that's listening to this that heard my name, don't know anything about me, you can Google me. Rampage the Brooklyn Rapper. Rampage the Last Boy Scout of Flip Mode Squad. Anybody want to know anything about me can directly message me at at the real rampage on Instagram, at the real rampage on Twitter, rampage the last Boy Scout on Instagram, Roger Rand McNeil on Facebook. I don't hide. I'm a real dude. Get at me directly. Any promoters want to book your boy for the show? Get at me directly. Hit up my manager, Money Green Marche. That's M A R S H T A G. At Gmail, serious inquiries only. It's your boy. If y'all hating on this show with me, I'm gonna tell everybody right now. My last words. Will tell them. Fix your face. Word. Real talk. Word. Rampage. I appreciate you for coming on the show. You know what I'm saying. YG. And definitely, we're gonna do on, this YG. again, man. You know what I mean. One more definitely. thing. May I have a shout out for Shut Them Down Radio? Yo, this your boy Rampage, the first lieutenant of the Universal Flip Mode Squad. You're now rocking with the best right here on Shut Em Down Radio. Yeah. And go get all them projects. Get at Rampage.